Starborn, and Why? you are unworthy to possess the artifacts. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Oh, wait. Where did Walter go? Here he is. Walter. I just saw Arcella walk by. Good job. Hmm. He seems cagey to me. Angry, even. That's not surprising. This is a deal over stolen property, after all. Anything could go wrong. Now, before we head in there, let me go over the ground rules. He'll ask for twice what we agreed on. That's normal. He'll probably try to walk out. That's normal, too. Don't worry about the amount we actually settle on. The Stroud Eklund Discretionary Fund is just a chip to you and me. Our goal is to get him to accept that chip in exchange for the artifact. Anything goes as long as it's in our hands, and we're not dead. How does that sound? Yeah, I'm keeping my hand close to, to my weapon for this. Let's just try it my way first, hmm? Remember that man is selling the artifact for a reason. He might be nefarious, but he might just be desperate. If everyone walks away with what they want, I'll call it a success. You know, I mean, there's no reason why this shouldn't go smoothly. desperate you got money I mean why can't we just do the damn thing oh he's gone again so I see this is the way things work around here Excuse Clover me. over at Kelcorp she's too good for neon sounds like she's trying to help someone or something Honestly, I kind of tuned her out. Talk to Clover. All right, here we are. So you, Stroud, you look different in person. Our public relations always insists on doing some touch-ups for the official photos. Embarrassing, really. Your security here going to stand or sit for this little meeting? Making me nervous. All right, I'll sit. No sense making anyone uncomfortable. So polite. Almost makes me forget what planet I'm on. Am I to assume that briefcase has our item of interest? Yeah. Here it is. Well, look at that. One of a kind. And I know you want it. I have the amount we agreed on. Uh-uh. Things have changed. I want double. Now how am I supposed to do that? I don't know. But your security here seems to have some fancy gear. Why don't they chip in? Hmm. <laughs> I suppose I could... Well, anyway, let, let's try to be diplomatic first. All right, you, stop bluffing. We know you need to sell quickly. Oh, really? And how do you know that? Who talked? Does it matter? We know you're in a fix, and we're still willing to buy. For the agreed-upon amount. I got people after me, okay? I can't just settle on what we agreed on. I need more so I can disappear. That's not our problem. We came here expecting one amount. Now you want another. You telling me Walter Stroud ain't got the cash? I'll walk out of this booth right now. Hmm. What the? Security! I'm closing the door. You're not going anywhere until we have a deal. As you can see, 
We're in control. Take advantage of our generosity. Take the money. All right. Okay. It's all yours. Hope I never see any of you people ever again. We have it. This couldn't have gone better. Well done. Some high-pressure tactics, but we got what we were after. Time to go home. Shall we? Yeah. Oh, you you already took the artifact. Okay. Let's get out of here. Hopefully, there's not going to be a... Stop right Whoa. there! You're in possession of Slayton Aerospace property. Ah. Slayton must have been the original owner. We don't need to do this. All's fair on Neon. Am I right? Hand over Mr. Slayton's property. Now. Hmm. Security. We're being harassed. There a problem here? Yes. This armed thug was trying to steal our belongings. I'm going to need you to back away from our VIPs. Now. Fine, but you can't stay in the Astral Lounge forever, Stroud. Nicholas Slayton's already got your number. Sending on men to the Astral Lounge. Slayton must be serious about getting the artifact back. We'd better get off the planet quickly. I agree. Come on. Nothing like a firefight to my ship. wrong, hasn't it? Slayton has put a bounty on your heads. He's greased a few palms. Your ship's been impounded at the spaceport. Oh, great. There goes our way out. Who was Nick Law Slayton, anyway? The CEO of Slayton Aerospace. They're a systems manufacturer. Engines, thrusters... We need to get Slayton off our backs. Agreed. Have a talk with the man himself. Slayton Aerospace has offices here in the Trade Tower. If Nicholas is moving this quickly, he must be there or close by. Let's head to their lobby, shall we? See if we can make an appointment. Okay, let's go. The spacers, scumbags, and scavengers. All the time. All right, Walter. I hope you know how to use a gun. Mm. Now, do I open fire now? It's just one god. Hello. Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. Can I help you? Mm. <laughs> I need to make an appointment to see Nick Loss Slayton. I'm afraid Mr. Slayton is a very busy man. And I'm not. I won't need to take up much of his time. We just had a misunderstanding. Maybe I could squeeze you in. Let me see. I know you'd like to help me, if you could. Yeah, I hope so. You know, I really think I left the oven on... 
two star systems over. You think relative time means my house is burned down by now? Please, believe me, Slayton is expecting me. No, he isn't. I'm afraid we just can't book any more appointments today. Goodbye. Do I have to... We got... We got lots of, uh... All right, Walter, you better be ready. Hmm, we need an access code. I don't see any other way around this. She's got the access code. See? If only she gave I it lost up. Them. Thought you could hide? Oh, ah. <laughs> Are we going to be able to get off this planet? Let's go. Wait. This clearly isn't the executive level. He's on to us. Walter. Uh, taking what's mine, then breaking into my office. A bold move. But one easily counted. Trapped. Hello, Walter, dear, are you there? Issa? Took longer than I'd like, but I managed to pay off one of Slayton's security consultants. They've patched me in. All right, we've got her out. Once the door's open, just follow her instructions, okay? What's going on? Issa has control of the building. For the moment. 
Slayton will be scrambling his own security teams once he gets wind that we're no longer at his mercy. Our time is limited. All right. Let's do I'm it. I'm aware of the irony of me continuing to say it'll be easy. But it'll be easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. In three, two, one. Slayton's guards and employees are all over. Be careful. Okay. You'll want to use the vent system to slip around unnoticed. There's a cover just to the right of the elevator you came in on. To the right. This. Do I get myself That's the elevator up in you came in on. Jump right across the top of it and keep going to the end. Drop down and follow the conduit all the way to the end, past the fork. This event above you. Just climb up. Now which way? Doesn't look like I can get through there. Oh no, what are these? She said jump down, but I guess that's the only way. Stop. One of the doors leads you right into the open. I'm unlocking a safe route. Opening the door on your right. Go now. Head left, but don't go through the door at the end yet. There's a robot stalking the hall. People, they should have seen me. Oops. Okay. Let me just get that for you. Oh, no. Security is on the other. No one sees you unnoticed now. You have to find your way to the exit. Walter.
back on your feet. Good. This way. There's the door. It should take you outside. There's a series of catwalks that lead directly up one floor to the executive level. what she means. I think so. It keeps taking us up. See you out You're here. You're coming in just dirty. behind the executive elevators. I'll call the one on the far end, and you can walk right over the top. You know, it's moments like this that really makes Neon the best place to do business. You steal what's mine. I trap you in the city. You infiltrate my office. I lock it down. Where else can you match wits for the highest stakes but here? <laughs> Call off your guard, Slayton, and release my ship. You have what's mine. I, indirectly, have what's yours. We are at a stalemate. Although I do count a few more guns on my side. You and Walter are business people. Some arrangement can be made. I do admit. Having the co-CEO of Stroud Eklund in my office is quite the opportunity. How are your quarterlies looking, Nicholas? Perhaps we can add Slayton Aerospace to our supply chain. Provided this unpleasantness was behind us. Yes. I think that could be a most beneficial exchange. There is just the small matter of paying for the humiliation. Mr. Musgrove, my former employee, and the thief responsible for our serendipitous meeting, was caught 
prior to your arrival. I think it would cement our new partnership if you were to decide on his sentence yourselves. He's a thief. Let the authorities deal with him. If that is your decision, you need only tell him yourself, and then we will handle the rest. My security brought Musgrove to my office. I'm sure seeing you again will be a fine conclusion to your previous business. Just let him go. No sense in more violence. We have an opportunity to spare a man's life. I know he probably wouldn't do the same for us, but that shouldn't matter. All right, Walter. We'll do it your way. Oh, he, look, he's already been shot. Oh, no. You. Slayton really does have a sick sense of humor. Why did you steal the artifact? I want the whole story. Ten years working in aerospace engineering, and they laid me off. You damn right I stole that thing. They tell you if you have talent and commitment, you can go far. But the truth is it's all about who steals the most and gets away with it. Where's the money, Musgrove? Slayton took it all. Probably in one of his secure accounts somewhere. I'll settle up with him later. Arbitration, lawyers, all that nonsense. He wants me to decide what to decide what to do with you. Please, I was just trying to sell a product, okay? Isn't that why we're all here? Be lenient. We were taking advantage of his initiative, after all, even if we have found ourselves working with the man he stole from. Hmm. All right. I'll let you go. Get out of Neon while you can. I... Thank you. A rare moment of compassion for this city. Very well. I'll clear things up with the authorities. You're free to go. Time to go. Let's talk more back at the ship. Hmm. if I do for my trouble Must be another way, come on. Oh boy, I think we're going around in circles now. his back. He's causing problems. No percentage in causing problems in Neil. Don't go causing trouble.
seriously. My ship sitting right there and I couldn't get it. Still can. All right, whatever. Vasco, come on board. A deal with a man who wanted us dead. I guess we can call that a win. What do you think? Uh, I think we might be in trouble. I can't take off. All right, well, we got the artifact. That's all that matters. I agree. This life suits both of us, don't you think? All in all, a great success. Thank you for allowing me to tag along with Constellation's newest star. <laughs> Yes, I used a pun. Forgive me. Now, we can take off. Whoa. 10,000 credits. All right, then. Let's get out of here. Action stations, everyone. We're lifting off. Identify yourselves. The fact that you do not know says much. We are the Starborn, and what? you are unworthy to possess the artifacts. Tell us, please. What are the artifacts? What are they for? Did you make them? What gives you more right to them than humanity? Answering your questions is exactly what we cannot allow. Abandon your thirst for knowledge, or drown in it. At least tell us more about who you are. The more you understand, the more damage you will do. How could just knowing what you are be dangerous? Our distance from you is the whole point. We interfere now because we must. I'm not liking what I'm seeing on the scans. Energy output from that ship is far above the normal range. If we spin up the grav drive now, we have a chance. All right, full evasive maneuvers. Let's get out of here. We'll get through this. Hold on. Except I can't spin up the grav drive. Stand by to jump. Four, three, two, one. Jump. Need to regroup at the launch immediately. 
Tell Noel to analyze the data of the ship's sensors. Everyone's going to want to weigh in on this. I'm not sure that went well. Seems like we're in deeper trouble than we could have ever imagined. Nicole. Noel. How is Neon? Are you? Are you okay? We were attacked. We need to hold an emergency meeting. Wait, what happened? Who was after you? Take a look at the ship's sensor data. I think everybody needs to see this. Uh, all right, I'll start transferring the data over now. Let me just bring it up on here at the table. Is that... Is that a prototype? No, that material isn't anything we... What the... Everyone, come take a look at this. That's no faction vessel or Crimson Fleet. Secret military tech, maybe? Hmm, no United Colonies Admiral approved that starship design. They call themselves the Starborn. Demanded we hand over the artifact. Like we were children, playing with their parents' things. What do people know? Any offshoot groups go by that name? Not in any corner of the settled systems I've seen. Maybe a distant human colony, finally popping its head up. Huh. Another house for room? I very much doubt that. We ignoring the obvious here? A heretofore unknown group who just happens to know about the artifacts. I'm just gonna say it. Intelligent alien life, or extra-dimensional beings. The original creators from the furthest fringes of space. Or beyond even that. Is the metaphor of avenging angels coming down to keep humanity from forbidden knowledge not apt here? So, we have a lot of theories, but nothing concrete. Except that they're after the artifacts, and they're willing to take them by force. Well, to Barrett's point, the artifacts clearly aren't human-made. No settled systems lab made these things. And I doubt one of them made that ship either. So, we got some weird extra-dimensional beings that coincidentally decide to build their spacefaring vessels exactly like we do. I'm not so sure about that. Noel, start analyzing all the data from the ship sensors. The gravitational wave they caused, scans of their weapons, shields, everything. We're in the dark. We need to learn anything about them we can. Including some way to fight them, if necessary. Until then, we stay the course. Collect the artifacts. It's even more important now that an intelligence we don't know or understand is looking for them. All right, well, agreed. The only way to learn more is to keep going. All we can do is be more cautious. But we are not stopping. This could end up being a race we don't want to lose. Vladimir, has the eye picked up anything new? Some glints of shine in the dark. Ready to hand them out as soon as you please. All right. Good luck, everyone. And be careful out there. Spend so much time looking at the scans. I can see star systems have, orbiting in my head. Yeah. Hmm. All right. On that note, people, I'm going to 
take a nap. 